he is an extremely gifted young pitcher, but he's still a thrower and he's not a pitcher. And he gave up five home runs this afternoon. His fastball has been getting hit. First start against the Los Angeles Dodgers in L.A. He was brilliant. Ball was moving. Some were cutting. Some were sinking. Velo at 39 of his 80 pitches were at 100 miles an hour or more. So all of a sudden we equate velocity with this guy is going to be a great pitcher. Guess what we've learned since? It's the learning curve. Yeah, Major League Can you get your team. secondary pitches over? So he faces a Brewers lineup this afternoon. That's not a really a good hitting lineup. The Brewers have struggled top to bottom offensively. The Brewers strength is their starting pitching. And it made me think of maybe what Milwaukee did with Corbin Burns with Brendan Woodruff with Ashby and Lauer. They put these guys in the bullpen. They sh they throw them an inning or two. They get him in. They get him out. They get him in. They get him out. They, they pitch a couple innings. They give him a couple of days off. Frustrating for the pitcher at the time. Yes. But it's nearly impossible unless you're Justin Verlander, you're Steven Strasburg, you're a young pitcher that throws hard. But Strasburg and Verlander, they were they were they were accelerated because they could throw breaking balls for strikes. Justin Verlander has never been a one trick pony where, hey, if he doesn't have a fastball, Justin Verlander can adapt on the fly. So can Jacob deGrom. So can Garrett Cole. And I think we, we move so fast. On Hunter Green yep. the the prospects of what he could be are amazing but the bottom line is this that this isn't a ball this isn't double a that this is a league where guys have an idea of the strike zone and when they know that you have a difficult time landing a breaking ball for yes. strikes. I'm gonna tell you, I, I scouted this guy. I was assistant GM with the Braves and scouted him as an amateur. And with you, to your point, Dan, he was able to overpower amateur hitters and, and minor league hitters with his fastball. And when you see him make this start and it's in the big league, his big league debut, he's pumping fastballs, sweeping, sweeping breaking balls that are strike to ball breaking balls. But what has happened since? When you look at this at bat against Freddie Freeman, and I'm gonna walk us through this, he go fastball, strike one, mm. center cut. He then goes change up. He goes fastball top of the zone. It's now 1-1. One, one. This is the telltale pitch right here. He goes change up, had the confidence to throw it, miss with the change up, and he throws a fastball that center cut. Freddie Freeman swings through this pitch, and he misses it. He then comes back with another fastball to finish that at bat off. But let's go to Christian Yelich today. He goes ball one. He then goes fastball, center cut, change up, miss, fastball, center cut. Yelich, I guarantee you, watched that Freddie Freeman at bat and said, I'm not going to miss the heater when he come back after the changeup. So for Hunter Green, he reminds me of a young wow. Doc Gooden. But what Doc Gooden had, what Hunter Green does not have right now, is something that goes north to south. Right. He had that 12 to 6 breaking ball. And for Hunter Green, his breaking ball is more east to west. It's more of a slider than a curveball. So if he's not going to execute something that's going to go north to south with a breaking ball, he's going to have to develop a changeup. And for me, I know Cincinnati is looking and saying, this guy is taking his lumps. But in the big leagues, is where he need to take these lumps okay. because he could be in double A right now. Fall behind 1-0, 2-0, and throw a fastball right. by any kid in double A. Right. He's not throwing a fastball by Christian Yelich. Right. So this is where he's going to learn that I can't just rear back and just keep throwing. I'm going to have to learn how to pitch. The Cincinnati Reds are going to be better off for this, and Hunter Green is going to be better off because this is where he's going to develop as a pitcher. You just hope as a young pitcher that he doesn't take an outing like this when you give up five home runs. I guarantee you he has never even thought about ever giving up five home runs in one game, let alone five home runs in one season. But that's what can happen. And his confidence has to be shook a little bit. But he has a world of talent. And when he does figure this out, and he will figure out those hitters that are having fun with him right now, they're eventually going to pay. Well, he only has 179, you know, innings in the minors uh, too. So uh, keep in mind too, with COVID and stuff, he went a long stretch plus the Tommy John surgery. He didn't pitch for a while. So again, all of, he's only 22 years old. 